Interaction with computers is predefined in most cases. Computer systems do not learn and thus do not adapt to situations. The key problem of making an intelligent application is how will the application evaluate the situation and how will it choose the best action? The intelligent room example is used solely as a proof of concept. An intelligent application that adapts the computer's behavior to the context can be relevant for everyday life. As a result, this application could run on modern cell phones or PDAs, which have sensors such as accelerometers and GPS. These devices could adapt their behavior according to the context of its environment. Despite numerous projects dealing with intelligent rooms, interaction in the living room has not significantly changed since the invention of the remote control. Our project could take the concept of the intelligent room to the next level. The Wizard of Oz is a research experiment in which subjects interact with a system that is fully controllable by humans, in effect faking an autonomous system. We investigate how users interact with a possible intelligent system. The subjects fulfill simple tasks to discover the capabilities of the fake autonomous system and the results are observed and analyzed. The primary observations from the experiment showed both free interaction and natural, unscripted input to the system. The room is similar to other rooms, furnished in a way that hides the technical devices. For the input system, the room contains a set of sensors. A light sensor detects the amount of light in the room to be analyzed. A pressure sensor detects when the user sits and moves on the chair. A light barrier sensor detects when the user enters and leaves the room in order to start the camera and count users. A microphone measures the amount of noise in the room. A Wiimote is used to record the gestures used to interact with the system. A camera mounted on the ceiling tracks the user's position in the room. For output, our room is capable of adjusting the sound level of the speakers, turning the lighting on and off, and controlling the projector. The system features a web control center to give explicit and manual commands to the system. It also performs undo operations when requested. In addition, the control center tracks the status of the room for further observation and analysis. The system structure consists of four main interconnected parts. The world is a representation of our surroundings, providing natural interaction to the user. The first part involves action and detection, which detect the various actions of the user without intervening with the system's activity. When the system detects an action from the user, the action is sent to the world model. The second part is the world model, which inputs the actual states of the instance as well as the detected actions and provides an output of all possible actions to be taken. The third part is the critic, which assigns a value to every action provided by the world model, based on a specific algorithm in order to choose the best action. For instance, when the user starts reading a book, the system could increase the lighting in the room. In this example, the critic sends a message to the actuation system, which performs the selected action, in this case, increasing the lighting.